everyone! Today we're doing a new t-shirt weaving technique on this thrifted t-shirt, so grab your scissors! To start, put your shirt on inside out and mark where you want to crop the shirt if you want to crop it. Then mark the widest you want the design to be on the front. Keep in mind the weaving will make it a bit narrower. Now lay your shirt down flat, front facing up and still inside out, and use a ruler to draw a line across your shirt at the crop mark. Then draw a vertical line down the center of the shirt and subscribe to my channel. Measure how wide your guide marks are apart and then use that measurement to draw two more vertical lines parallel to and an equal distance from the center line. I made mine five inches wide, so I drew lines two and a half inches away from the center line on both sides. Use a ruler to make marks half an inch apart down the center line. Then use these marks to draw horizontal lines across the center section of the shirt. You only have to do one side because we're going to fold it. But if the shirt has a v-neck like mine, continue the lines up on either side of the collar. Now cut your shirt at the crop line through both layers of fabric, then flip your shirt around so it's back side up. At this point I realized the sewn on tag was going to be a problem, so I grabbed my seam ripper and removed it. I could have also used scissors though. Anyway, we're going to draw the same thing on the back, just much wider. Start by drawing the outside vertical lines just on the inside of the shoulder seam on both sides. Then draw another vertical line down the center. Make your marks down the center line half an inch apart, then start drawing the horizontal lines using your marks as a guide. I started doing this then realized it was going to take forever so I just made a few lines for reference and decided to wing it with my scissors. Now flip your shirt back to the front and it's time to start cutting all of the horizontal lines. I put some cardboard inside my shirt just to cut the collar section, then removed it to cut the rest. Take your shirt and grab the top layer of fabric at the top and bottom and fold it along the center line so that the side seams are laying on top of each other. Cut along all of the half inch wide lines through both layers of fabric. Then stretch all of the strips. Do the same thing with the back. Fold your shirt on the center line, then start cutting half inch wide strips through both layers of fabric stopping at the sideline. Then stretch all of the strips. Now turn your shirt back inside in and grab some cardboard or a pillow or a person to put inside your shirt to make weaving easier. I'm going to be using two different basic t-shirt weaving techniques that I've covered more in depth in a previous video. If this is your first time t-shirt weaving, you might want to watch that video first. I will link it on screen and also in the description. This crisscross pattern is just a variation of what I call a twisted weave, but first we're going to do a row of the ladder weave. So grab the top strip, pull it down, then grab the second strip and pull it up over the first. Then grab the third strip and pull it up over the second and continue this all the way down to the bottom. When you get to the bottom, cut the bottom strip in half and tie each side to the strip above it. Then use your fingers to spread out the weave. Now for the crisscross pattern, grab the top strip and twist it making a loop. Skip the next two strips and grab the fourth one. Pull that up through the loop and twist it. Then grab the third strip, pull it up through the loop and twist it. 
then finally grab the second strip and pull it up through the loop and twist it. Then repeat. Skip two strips, grab the third one down, pull it through the loop and twist it. Grab the second strip down, pull it through the loop and twist it. Then grab the first strip, pull it through the loop and twist it. Repeat this pattern until you get to the bottom. and then cut the bottom loop and tie the sides back together, one on each side of the strip above it. Trim all the ends and that's the design. Now the back. I ended up cutting another strip at the top, but I should have made it as wide as the rest because the fabric ended up bunching a little bit at the top. For the weaving, I did one row of ladder weaving. Spread it out, then another row of ladder weaving. Tied it off at the bottom and then spread it out. Then I did the crisscross pattern down the center. And tied it off. Trimmed all the ends, then did a little bit of adjusting, and that was it. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did or if you have any questions, be sure to let me know. And if you're looking for more content, check out my other social media, all at an orth at all. You can subscribe to this channel by clicking here or watch another video right over here. Thanks for watching.